Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Wavy Boy CJ Slash Core, man. Today, we're going to be reacting to the N word through history, man. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you learned anything from this video, man. Um, road to 3,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, let me know what did you guys learn from this video. The N word through history. Let's get into it. For the record, for the people out there that don't know, man, I am black. I am a nigga. <laughs> Whoa. That is true. The word is N I O G E R, the Latin word for black. But as soon as enslaved Africans were brought to these shores, the word, pronounced with was used to depict them not just as something derogatory, but as something not quite evolved from ape to human being. By examining this one word, we get an understanding of not only who we are, but who we have been and who we might become. But this two-syllable word and its evolution reveals much about American society. There is some risk in attempting to isolate the and or who can say it, who should it say and why American culture. For me it's an artificial distinction. I think it's more useful to look at this Whoa. Word as, as part of a seamless strand, really a seamless narrative that runs from the beginning, from before the beginning of the country, uh, to where we are. Seeing that ER at the end of it, it's kinda of crazy, that's why I keep saying whoa. Right now. In 1619, settlers in Jamestown were already using the word to describe the enslaved black. Damn. You will find that we knew that. Coats, and this is well documented, used the N word when they taunted the revolutionary army because the idea was you're so weak you have to use niggers to bolster your troops. By the turn of the century, blacks have been freed from slavery for almost 50 years, but were second class citizens in the North and lived in harsh Nine. segregation in the South. 1900. The, were common. the 1915 silent film, Birth of a Nation, portrayed the white knights of the Ku Klux Klan, not as American born terrorists, but as the defenders of white women, culture, and society. Dem free, I'm not saying that word. F from the, uh, I don't know how to say it that stuff. It wasn't just the clan that used the term. The N word permeated almost every aspect of pop culture and daily life, as if it had arisen from the national groundwater. And then when you look at the the um, the best selling songs of the night. The best selling songs. And I nig toe rag nig wait what wait nig head stove equivalent of the, the billboards hot 100 we might say today we're, we're looking at songs that not only use nigger throughout the lyrics but have nigger in the title um, at the same time uh, I new yo yo that's crazy the soap one is crazy nig joe's tar soap five zip I like to say you can stand in your kitchen during this period and you can <gasps> Yo, what the freak? The watermelon one is crazy. <coughs> I got the hiccups, y'all. What? 360 turn, and everywhere you turn, your eyes would land on the word nigger. From your stove polish to the trade names for your fruits and vegetables to the uh, the penny bank that your child has to the board games that your child plays with to the card game. Really? Play in the parlor next to the piano with the nigger songsters. Sitting. They use the word in everything, bro. I did not even know that. They romanticized the Moonlight and Magnolia's idea of the Annabellum South with Margaret Mitchell's Pulitzer Prize winning novel, Gone with the Wind, also becoming the most popular film in the nation's history. The book used the N-word repeatedly. But while Rhett was allowed to use profanity to tell Scarlett what he didn't give, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. The Hayes office censored mm. the word itself from the script. But the nation was convulsing. 
The Supreme Court's striking down of school segregation in 1954, the slaying of Emmett Till in Mississippi in 1954. R.P. Emmett Till. Five. The Montgomery bus boycott later that same year and the bombing of the Birmingham church in 1963 Damn. were part of the massive change in social upheaval of the civil rights movement. In 1967, the reigning Muhammad head of the Ali. boxing champion of the world, Muhammad Ali, refused yep. to serve in the war in Vietnam. His reasoning set off a national firestorm. And shoot them for what? They never called me nigger. They never lynched me. They didn't put no dogs on me. They didn't rob me of my nationality rape and kill my mother and father what well, i'm going to shoot them for what the hopes and dreams of this movement led to a brash new message he got a point kind of the washington black pose was beautiful baby and you could say it loud i'm black and i'm proud who is that james bro it sound yeah that's james bro you could see the sound like it. in the black exploitation films of the early 1970s Black anti-heroes began to embrace a bold new identity. Super Not fly. by disavowing the N-word, but by claiming it as their own. It's the American dream, nigga. But black exploitation flicks put that A at the end. It took Richard Pryor, a skinny comedian from Peoria, Illinois, to shoot to crossover success with a rival routine that Super. emphasized the use of profanity, especially Super. the N-word. Spade! Hunky hunky! <laughs> Nigger. Whoa! I wasn't expecting him to say it. Was elected, Pryor had disavowed use of the term, but a new generation was taking the reins of pop culture. Everything was new, raw, and angry. The most visceral film of the late 1980s was Spike Lee's "Do the Right Thing," anchored by its profane, racist rant montage. Dago Wap, Guinea, Garlic Breath, Pizza Sling, and Spaghetti Ben, and Vic Damone, Perry Como, Luciano Pavarotti. Fried chicken and biscuit eating, monkey ate baboon, big die, fast running. Take your fucking pizza, pizza, and go the fuck back to Africa. Oh my god! And rap storytelling gave new voice to young black Americans. On the West Coast, a group of young rappers called themselves NWA. NWA. Niggas with Addison. Legendary. And their first underground album, Straight Outta Compton, featured 46 uses of the N-word. Dang. Three years later, their album, Niggas for Life, featured 185 uses of the word and went to the top of the charts. Dang. The word gained new currency in popular culture. This music by, for, and about black and brown people became a dominant force in youth culture, spreading across the country, even to white suburbia. Baby. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the dead nigger in my garage. Oh my god! Too soaked in history for that to be the end of it. O.J. Simpson's Trial of the Century further electrified the national audience when a white police detective was found to have used the term frequently. That's right. That's right. Kramer! Once beloved Seinfeld star Michael Richards all but ended his career in 2006 at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles with an N-word laced tirade at a black heckler that sounded like it was from an earlier century. He's a nigger! He's a nigger! He's a nigger! Oh my god. A nigger looked as a nigger! Oh my god. The NFL has grappled with the issue repeatedly. Starting this year, the NFL now sometimes penalizes use of the word on the field. But that decision was met with vocal opposition by black players. And so here mm. we are. The country still can't agree how, when, or if one of the most vicious words in the vernacular should be embraced under its myriad new meanings or consigned to the trash heap of history. The United States, after all, has never existed without it. That's going to be the end of the vid. Let me know what y'all learned from the video. Me. Um. Me. Got no comment. I don't really want to speak on it. If y'all want to ask me something about it, ask me in the comments down below. Um. Yeah. Some stuff I didn't know, like. They used the hard art. And like board games, soap, 
they put it in or put it on music cover albums you I, I never knew that and some of that stuff is just crazy bro this whole video is crazy i don't even know if youtube gonna let me put this up that's gonna be the end of the video i'm out peace